some oh gray strips card come through you can expect i hate to say it but some tower moments some of us will fail and some of us shall succeed <laughs> some of you may die but it's a sacrifice i am willing to make the hermit card has been coming out all week it is time for us to sit the fuck down okay Ooh, watch me. What it is? What's up? Got Charmaine to cut. What it is? What's poppin'? What you watching? You watching me? Four days a week? What's up, you guys? It's May, your Akashic Visionary, Tarot Reader, Astrologist, Intuitive, and everything up above. Welcome to Akashic Visions YouTube. Today, I have your weekly forecast for july 5th through the 10th we're going to get into some transits we're going to get into what is the overall energy and we're also going to get into the collective energy using the tarot um you guys let's get straight into this video if this is something that you want to hear something that you love and you want to see more of my face please hit that subscribe button i would love for you to become part of the tribe i would love for you to be a part of our tarot tuesdays where we go live and we do each zodiac sign and we do um tarot we vibe we chill and i also love to pick two of you to do free personal reading for you on live so that is something that i love to do for you guys for free and we can just chill and i get to know you guys more so with that being said let's get into the tea of what's going on in astrology okay <laughs> anyways so july 5th through the 10th you guys so the overall energy oh okay the overall energy of next week, you guys, there's going to be a lot of tension, confusion, aggression, okay, and emotions. Lessons are going to be learned. I have the chart pulled up and I also have my notes right here, okay? there. When I think of next week, I think of lots of tower moments. And um, honestly, I've been going through the that energy for the past week i usually feel that energy the week before like a week or two before and honestly this week has been kind of like one of those weeks where i'm like well what happened i was just fine the next week i'm going through shit that i already learned like a month or two ago so like what is going on sis right so these are lessons this is the test baby girl baby boy this is the test don't fail the test Okay, let's go into the overall energy. So, this is going to be this is going to be testing you on your identity of your inner transformation that you went through through the lunar eclipse. This is going to be testing your social, how you present yourself socially and physically, and who you're surrounding yourself with, as well as. Um, um, outside events and expressions also we can expect um some oh gray strips card come through you can expect some um <laughs> some tower moments um, i hate to say it but some tower moments some of us will fail and some of us shall succeed. <laughs> some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the transits of next week. So we have Mercury squaring Neptune. Now with this, we're going to be... Communication, when it deals with 
um, what we feel intuitively in our dreams and our creativity. It's going to be kind of hard. It's going to be kind of like, well, this is how I feel, but I just can't get it across. Um, I feel misunderstood when I come across the people or when I'm doing the things that I love to do. Um, I, I feel like I'm thinking the way I was thinking before um, I went through my inner transformation. Um, I find it hard to express myself. I just feel like I'm, I'm retreating backwards. And that's what this Mercury square and Neptune is going to bring about, okay? We also have Mars squaring Uranus. So a lot of us are going to be very aggressive on wanting to achieve these goals and wanting to go after our dreams and aspirations and our creativity. But sometimes this energy may not be well for us right now. That tension, you forcing yourself to do that is going to cause yourself to go backwards and that's not going to be good. Sometimes it's okay to have to sit down and analyze what you need to analyze, okay? And some of us with this Venus, with the Venus, what the hell? With Venus opposing and squaring a lot like your uh, Uranus and Saturn and Mars is going to be questioning you're going to it's going to be questioning whether do you like what you like? Are you insecure? What are you insecure about? Are you, do you love yourself like you said you loved yourself? Um, Neptune is in retrograde. So the rose colored lenses are off now. Your ego that was what's boosting you is gone. Well, she's not gone, but she, the, the little crutch that she had is no longer there. So you're going to have to have that inner, look at that. You're going to have that have that have that inner strength within inside yourself in order to be able to truly um, overcome these transits next week. Because there's a lot of emotion, and we're in we're in cancer season for crying out loud. Like, come on now. A lot of these things are don't make sense. Come on now. We're in cancer season. Queen of Cups, like come through. <laughs> a lot of these emotions, Page of Swords, they're immature. They're old ways of thinking. Okay? You created something. You created the most beautiful cup of the sea. Okay? You made that final judgment. You already did. But now you're, resurrect, you're resurrecting old ways of thinking. And now the will of fortune, which is in the back of the deck. These old ways of thinking, they're being resurrected again for you. Because they're, they're coming back to haunt you. This, this was just came to me. They're coming back to haunt you. Is literally coming back to haunt you. And these emotions are torturing you mentally and emotionally. Us mentally and emotionally. Because this is a collective reading. Because honestly, personally, this is literally me. Okay? So, oh my God. Hermit card has been coming out all week. If you go to my Insta Instagram, I post daily tarot readings for us and the hermit card can you guys see these cards oh man you guys can't see the cards well that sucks but the hermit card Let me see if I can fix the camera for you guys. Hold on. This better? All right. So, as I was stating, the Hermit card has been coming out all week. It is time for us to sit the fuck down, okay? Ooh, watch me. It is time for us to have a seat, honey. 
it is time for us to go back and retreat. If these emotions of feeling like, oh my God, I am not worthy. Oh my God, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Oh my God, I am not prepared. Oh my God, I don't know if I am, do I even know what I'm talking about right now? Like, am I really, am I supposed to be doing this? Do I have all my ducks in a row? Like, <laughs> what if I don't, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's time for you to go back in hermit mode. It's, it's start, it's start over. No, you're not ready. Nah, no, you're not ready. That's what it's bringing up. It's time to go back to square one. Hermit, I mean hermit. Hierophant. Tradition. But what was your tradition when you started that inner transformation? What was your rituals? What were what was your standard? Okay. What was making you happy? What made you happy? Okay. What makes you celebrate? What makes you feel grounded? What makes you feel grounded to the earth? What makes you physically feel here? Okay. What makes you feel like you can make logical decisions based off fact and not based off your emotions? Queen of Cups. Cancer season. Okay. <laughs> Like, we don't have time for it. These water signs come through and they just come and make emotions like, whoosh. but you know what? Everything's a learning lesson, okay? The universe comes and gives these lessons for a reason to give us strength and to give us um, power and to give us knowledge and to give us, look at that. Look at us. The universe came and gave, and we took it. And we said, hmm, what can we do with that? Let's see. The universe came and gave me this one little coin. How can, what can I do with this coin? I'm so grateful for this coin. I went through that lesson. I'm so grateful for that lesson. I have more time now. I have more energy now. I have more, I have more security within myself now. I have more love within myself now. I have more resources within myself now. I have more money that I can put into my business now. I have more emotional security within myself now. I have more, I just have more and the universe just continues to give and they give and give. And even though these lessons are, they're rough. They're rough as hell, right? These emotional got darn these emotional darn lessons are rough and they're resurrecting hard lessons and things that I don't actually want to deal with. But I rejoice because I know that the universe is going to give me something in return and that I will be able to make a judgment based off logical facts and not just my emotions. King of Swords come through. Thank you. My goodness, this is this is speaking to me, you guys, because when I say this week, whew, my God, oh, oh, let's see the overall. <laughs> oh, I love the tarot. Let's look at the energy. Angels and God's and God's and the universe come to me now. Let me clear this information for the week ahead for everyone who would come across this video. Okay, we don't want to get no little flippy, flippy, flippy. Okay. Okay. Angel balance. Okay. Yes. So though we all may have these goals and aspirations, which are great, we have the drive and we have the ambition. We need to get our emotions together, you guys, because everything is not going to go our way. We may have logical thinking and we may have these powers of being very, very stable within ourselves as far as 
logic. We need to get our emotions together. Are there any other messages in this deck? I'm not really feeling anything from this deck, honestly, you guys. Okay, thank you. Victory. We will come out victorious, you guys. These are lessons. These. This is a test. This is a test. These are just tests. Let me see. It's testing you whether or not if you really have the love. Ooh, something just flips. Whether or not you really have the love and the and the I kid you not power. This this really when I tell you I get so I get I have the chills right now. I have the chills. It wants to see how strong you are. It, it, spirit wants to see how much you can bear from yourself. How much can you take? Does that say patience? Yes. The waiting game. Yes. They want to see how, how bad you want it. How bad do you want it? Can you keep going through the tension? This little tension that I'm going to throw you. Can you handle it? for the next week coming ahead. How can we handle for next week? Choose wisely. Choose the path that you want to go through wisely, you guys. You need to choose whether, because some of us, not going to lie, some of us are going to choose to continue to try to force ourselves to continue to work through this. Personally, if that's what you choose to do, if that's a challenge, if that's your lesson, your lesson is to see if you can actually fight through um, your insecurities and fight through um, not getting recognition, not getting recognition and reward. Then let that be your lesson. But if your if your lesson is to sit and see if you can sit, then I will sit. Any other advice for those who are watching this video? Intuition. Use your intuition. You will know what you need to do. Follow what energy you feel. For me personally, my energy says sit down. Third eye chakra is on the back of the deck. We have patience and planning again. Patience again, along with the hermit. Well, I was gonna say hermit crab. Along with the hermit, I'm gonna say it again. It's a hermit card. We have truth. Something is going to be revealed. Truth, truth within ourselves. Trapped in fear. Some of us are trapped in fear. As I stated before, this energy is a test. It's going to see if you really want it. 
And if you don't feel like you want it, and if it's bringing up old past energies, you need to ask yourself why. You need to journal it down. You need to ask yourself, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel inadequate? Why do I feel like I'm not enough? Can we get some wisdom from you, Spirit? Can we get some wisdom from you, Spirit? What advice can you give to us at this time? What advice can you give to us at this time? Like when too many cards come out. Let me do that again. Angels and gods from the highest lights in the universe. Be here with me now. Thank you. They said same card, round and round. These are cycles, these are lessons. Round and round and round and round. These are going to continue to unfold around you. These are part of life. This is a part of life. These are emotions. These are not real. Between worlds. Yang. Let me get the book for these. The Masculine Principle of Movement and Creative Activity. The Power to Make Things Happen. Taking Action. Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the wor world forward and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What can you want? What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and it is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Hmm. Mm. Take that all in. This tension, this confusion, these emotions that come that, that have come out the blue that just don't make sense, they're they're a lesson. They they don't make sense because they're not real. They've come out the blue to test you to see if you can still work through them, to see if you're going to continue to do what you said you were going to do. And if you're going to make a decision based off logic and not based off how you your body feels because technically you that's just how your body feels right and the wisdom of our of the spirit is saying just keep going and if you need to retreat for a minute retreat for a minute and 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 retreat to me and and ask yourself and pray to me and ask me for strength pray for me pray to me for guidance and I will give it to you but continue to go push forward don't give up don't retreat back into your shell there has to be balance I will continue to give to you you will not lack in no means you will continue to go round and round and round between worlds I will be there Physically and spiritually, you are protected and you are backed. That is truth. That is what is real. Be patient. Nothing happened. Rome and Egypt. Egypt was not built in a day. And if you look at this card, there are pyramids in the background. Those pyramids were not built in one day. And is that a bottle of, what is she holding? I don't know, but it takes time for these things, you guys. It takes time, planning, 
and doing. You can't plan and not do it. You can't just do some shit and not plan it. That's not smart either for those who do that. There's always the opposite and vice versa of things. Okay? So let's get some final message. Oh, I didn't even see this goddamn shit pop out. It's not everyone else's fault is yours. Wow. You are a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. So basically, baby, if you want some shit, get your ass up and do it. No one cares that you ain't got this. Nobody cares that you're on your period. Nobody cares that your back hurts. No one cares that you're tired. If you want that shit, do it. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone and you know why. Her the hermit, okay? If you got an attitude because you ain't did A, B, C, or D, go in your room, okay? And, and have some time alone. And that's just on period. Get the outside. Oh, that was rude. I think that card wants to come out. Get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. So maybe some of us just need to... Uh, somebody need to hear that. Probably me, okay? You are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. That's on period, okay? I know that's right. All right? All right, you guys. That was next week's The Week Ahead weekly forecast for july 5th through the 10th Woo! what do you guys feel about this reading how are you feeling this energy this week like i did are you already feeling the tension of growing up because i know i did oh my god i know i'm kind of i'm coming out of the dust Okay, which is why I'm on this video right now. Okay, I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm about to come do this video for y'all, which is why I'm right here. And after doing this reading, I finally understand. So I hope this provided you with... What the fuck? I hope this provided you with some type of comfort, some type of advice, some sort of, you know, some... What What, what is the word I'm looking for? Um... I don't know what word am i looking for i don't know but i hope that it helped okay with that being said you guys thank you so much for tuning into this video please like and share this video if you enjoyed hit subscribe if you want to be a part of the akasha vibe tribe and if you want to be a part of tarot tuesdays where you may be picked for a free tarot reading i love you and i'll see you in the next video bye